All right, back to college football here. The storylines of note in week 14. Fourth ranked Georgia gets Georgia Tech. Noon Eastern, ABC, Jake Fromm. He's been hot since that loss to South Carolina. Eight touchdowns against no picks over the last five games. Clemson on that same South Carolina squad there, the Gamecocks. Clemson riding a 26-game streak. That's the longest active streak in the FBS. That's noon Eastern. ESPN wouldn't be rivalry week without the game. Ohio State has dominated this one recently, winning 14 in the last 15 against Michigan. And then you got LSU's offense, unstoppable this season, to be sure. Tigers 23 points away from becoming the fifth school in SEC history to score 350 in conference play in a single season. With that, we say hello to Paul Feinbaum or Nicole. There he is. And the team that you didn't see in that rip there, Paul, was Alabama. And they got Mac Jones, and they're taking on 15th-ranked Auburn. For Jones, his first true road start. Okay, what are we going to learn about him and the Tide today? I think we're going to learn that he's capable. He's not great. He's not Tua. He's not a Heisman Trophy candidate. But he's steady. And with four elite receivers and an all-SEC running back in Najee Harris, I, I think, and the feeling here is that he's capable of getting Alabama up and down the field. It's ultimately going to come down to their defense. But I think, and, and I think coaches on that Alabama coaching staff believe that he is ready for this job. He was a four-star uh, recruit coming out of Jacksonville. He hasn't played a lot, but he's going to get an opportunity today against Auburn. All right, another rivalry. It, as is so often the case with Michigan and Ohio State, there's so much on the line, at least this time for the Buckeyes, with regard to the college football playoff. But for Harbaugh, Jim Harbaugh 0-4 against his rival. How do you put into context what today means for him? I think he needs to win this game desperately. And, you know, some will argue he's not going to lose his job if he loses this game. I, I don't think that's even on the table. But he's going to lose a lot of credibility because this game is at home. I realize he's up against the number one team in the country. But if you go back, Randy, three and a half months when we started this season, a lot of us felt that this was easily going to be a game that he, he, he could win and probably would win. And that narrative changed pretty dramatically after the bad loss to Wisconsin and ultimately the Penn State game. But since then, Michigan has been very, very good. All right, looking at the way things are shaping up in the college football playoff right now with regard to the top four, a one-loss team is going to get in. So which one-loss team in your mind, Paul, has the best resume? Well, none of them have great resumes, but Alabama has the best. I say that here in Auburn, Alabama, where you don't find many Alabama fans on a morning like this. But Alabama, if, if you look at a couple of things, I mean, they're on the their their schedule resume is is pretty weak. Uh, that Duke game is coming back to haunt them now, 15 weeks ago. But they look like a really good football team. Only. LSU, when they lost at home, it was, it was a game that they struggled in. Other than that, they have been destroying teams. And, and really, uh, Utah doesn't have that much to, to write home about, nor does Oklahoma. Now, the one team you have to keep your eye on is Minnesota. Mm -hmm. Minnesota's resume could get a lot better today and much better next week with a win over Ohio State, assuming they beat Wisconsin. That's a big if. And that is a big if. Right now, Alabama, 47% chance to make the college football playoff, fifth best of any school. That number jumps to 70% if they win today. We get more Paul Feinbaum in our show coming up as he gets ready for his show, SEC Nation, 10 a.m. Eastern on the SEC Network.